Several EU countries, including France and Italy, are sending assistance to help Greek authorities combat wildfires encroaching on the capital, Athens. Firefighters have uncovered the body of a woman in a burnt-out factory in an Athens suburb. The health ministry confirms dozens of people were injured as the flames spread rapidly. Firefighters say they are no longer battling a single fire, but rather many localized blazes. Entire neighborhoods north of the capital have been evacuated. Residents could only watch as huge flames engulfed this warehouse. One of several properties destroyed in the massive fire marching towards the Greek capital. Fire crews are working frantically to battle the blaze, with people pitching in to help wherever possible. I left work. We tried to save all the houses around, apart from ours. It's a difficult situation. The firefighters and everyone here are trying their best. The thing is, you can't fight nature. In the house next door, the trees were on fire. I don't know what happened because we were told to leave, but the situation is tragic. Thick smoke means residents can only hear and not see the nearby helicopters working to fight the fires. Strong winds and tinder dry conditions have made battling the blaze especially tricky with flames stretching more than 25 metres high in some places. June and July were the hottest months ever recorded in Greece, which also recorded its warmest winter ever. The fire is estimated to have burned through about 10,000 hectares of land, an area larger than Manhattan. Help is on its way from several EU countries. France, Italy and the Czech Republic are among those sending equipment and assistance. Thousands of residents remain on standby as the fire threatens more homes and several Athens hospitals are being prepared to take casualties. A sure, while ago, I spoke with our correspondent, Sofia Kleptaki, in Athens. She spent the past few days in the affected area and gave me this update. Well, the situation remains very, very critical, uh, Terry, um, this morning. So fire forces worked um, around the clock throughout uh, the night. And still this morning, we have several fronts. And also the fires claimed their first uh, victim, the 60-year-old woman, which was trapped in the building. She was um, working in the area of uh, Halandri. And uh, right now, evacuations are going on. And it's extremely difficult. As you can see, the wind is still very, very strong. I'm in the in the city center of Athens right now, but in the in the affected areas around Athens, and there are several. It's uh, Marathonas area, it's Neamakri area, Pedeli area. People, um, residents are still there trying to protect their properties with fire. Uh, forces operating there. Um, helicopters are flying over the area and it's still um, very, very tense. Um, everything uh, seems not under control by now, at least. Now, the Athens metropolitan area has over 3 million residents. Is the capital prepared for the fires to come even closer? Well, prepared to um, to react to the situation when it comes to cleaning vegetation, to, to setting up uh, fire breaks. However, there has been uh, criticism, especially by residents and not only by the affected areas, to make a long-term plan in order to react as uh, this is not something unusual during the summer months. Now, the Greek government has requested help from EU partners. What, what kind of support is needed? Uh, well, uh, different um, kinds of support, of course, on the one hand, um, aerial fire forcing um, such uh, equipment, such as uh, water bombing airplanes, helicopters, of course, and on the other side, of course, ground troops. So uh, people specialized in managing and extinguishing um, those high scale uh, fires and also uh, in the several um, next days, maybe also when it comes to coordination 
um, on the ground. Well, now, we've seen fire, fires uh, raging around Athens, different parts of Greece uh, in past years during the summer. How does the situation this year compare to, compare to other years, Sophia? Indeed. So this year, um, it's particularly severe. As I said, it's nothing unusual during the summer months in Athens. However, there are several reasons why this year is particularly uh, difficult. So uh, first of all, uh, the very long heat waves we had, which started very early uh, this year in combination with the dry weather conditions, the very strong uh, winds for uh, days. And of course, the capacities of the fire forces. So um, France, Italy and the Czech Republic sent help and um, also Romania, Turkey um, and Serbia are sending help today, uh, which shows that the situation is uh, very severe and everyone is still on uh, high alert. Sophia, thank you very much. That was DW's Sophia Kleftaki in Athens.